All right, so I got so many different hydroponics units, including the name brand ones like Aero Garden, which I didn't set up yet, and other ones on Amazon. And uh, this one, this particular one here, happens to be so good. Actually, it's my most prolific grower out of all of them that I just bought another one. So we're going to do an unboxing. And uh, it's a company by the name of Alis or Alis Pro. And it's an indoor hydroponics growing system. has uh, two modes. So you have a veggie mode or a flower mode. You have a built-in pump that moves the water around inside. And uh, LED lights that are grow lights. So you can actually change them for vegetables. Um, right now we have it on flower. So take a look. I'm going to show you. This is the color for flower. Now I'm going to change it to vegetable. And there you go. Now you have different full spectrum lights. Now look at the lettuces that I grew in the back here in just two weeks. By throwing a seed in the pods that it came with, this is what has grown. Now over here we have carnations growing. And in the front row here we have uh, actually petunias growing in various dish, uh, different stages of growth. And uh, this one is fantastic. So we're going to unbox it. I'm going to show it to you, give you a link where you can buy it, and go over the features with you. Now, if you're going to buy the Arrow Garden, you're going to spend the minimum $159, um, all the way up to four or $500. Why do that when you have something that actually works for way less? And uh, yeah, the prices do go up and down with this particular model. It goes on sale, but um, even at $60, um, it does the same thing pretty much as the Arrow Garden with a little bit less features. Here's uh, an ad for the Arrow Garden over here. Um, so let's go over the features. And this is actually a wonderful, wonderful unit. Um, we have 36 watt grow lights. So you have um, actually the exact spectrum that you need to grow vegetables, herbs, plants, flowers, all sorts of green things. And uh, let's uh, open up the box and we'll go over each and every one of the features. So this is the box that it comes in, and uh, it's actually packed very well. We're going to open it up. We're going to see the features and what's inside. Now, there's quite a few of these type of grow systems um, that you can choose from on Amazon. I mean, actually hundreds of them. And this particular one, I'm very, very, very satisfied with. That's why I ended up buying another one. Um, for the price of two of these, um, it still doesn't equal one arrow garden. And so you can probably get three or four of these for the price of one arrow garden. The only thing that the arrow garden has that these type of units don't have is they don't have, like, arrow garden has a thing like the day that you planted it, when it tells you when it needs to be fed. You could just do that by putting it on a piece of paper, sticking it to your fridge, and just uh, telling yourself that. You don't need all the bells and whistles. So it says, hello, please enjoy a -less or a -less Pro Garden Hydroponics Growing System. And so inside you get the instructions manual. I'm not going to go over building it with you guys because it is so simple. A chimpanzee can do it. It uh, comes with food and you get A food and B food. So you're going to mix that with the, not tap water by the way, don't use tap water. You're going to use like bottled water or filtered water. Fill up each bottle. There is a disc inside the cap um, that prevents the... Uh, the, you know, the, the plant food from squirting out. So after you're done shaking it up and dissolving it with warm water, you are going to take the little disc out of the cap and then you'll be able to measure it inside the cap that has a measuring apparatus built into it. All right. So it also tells you how much, um, plant food to put in there per liter. So that's a really, really simple, um, and and that's, you know, it's not something I should sit here explaining for 15 minutes. All right, so it's uh, packed very well with foam. Let's get this out. Okay, and the light comes separately. It's very, very simple to just uh, stick it on the extendable pole, but I just wanted to show you all the grow lights that are on here. So you can see all these LEDs, um, and this is 36 watts, which is uh, actually really quite good. Here's the top of the unit, and you can see it has your function buttons on it. All right, so now for um, what it comes with, and you know what the accessories inside that you get. The only thing you do not get is seeds. You furnish them yourself. 
Now, I do, I do know some of the Aero Gardens or all of the Aero Gardens do come with the pods with the seeds built into them. But for 99 cents, you can get a packet of seeds anywhere, pretty much. The supermarket, your dollar store. So it comes uh, nicely packaged, taped on all sides. We'll remove the tape and we'll go inside and I'll show you what it has. Okay, so this is a 12 pod system. You can grow herbs, vegetables, flowers, weed. Uh, you can grow uh, cuttings. You can actually uh, make clones of plants with one of these. I've done it, and it works actually better than any other method I've ever tried. You can grow salads, peppers, tomatoes, strawberries, um, all sorts of green things. Um, now, the size and dimensions is 15.7 inches across by 3.5 inches base height by 7 inches deep, going this way. And you have a water level. That's great. Some of them don't. So you don't know when the water level is too low. Um, you never want your water level to get too low because then the pump can burn out. Now on here, this uh, has a little piece, a rubber piece here. That's where you fill the water. Don't lose the cap. It has a fill line that says max. So you know when you've gone too much. But the little water level apparatus over here you, you there's a little dome that i'm going to add onto there um will pop up and let you know exactly how much water you have in there okay so it comes with grow sponges and so you you're going to get 12 grow sponges i suggest uh you can get for 13.99 50 more now these are square they do sell round versions and square versions but i'll uh, look for the square versions if you're going to get replacements okay so it comes with plant food a and b let's get that out and you can hear that it has tablets in there. You're going to actually have to dilute it with warm uh, filtered water. And once it's diluted, you're going to shake it up. And then you're going to take underneath this measuring cap is you screw this off and there's a little cardboard disc in there. You're going to remove that so you can fill this up with uh, your plant food. You're going to put A and B in the water separately. So you're going to pour in A into this right here. And then you're going to pour in B in here right after A. All right. So uh, you're not going to mix them together and pour them in at the same time. All right. Next, you get the 12 grow, ba uh, grow baskets and you get 12 domes. These are humidity domes. It keeps the plant seeds uh, warm and also keeps them humidified so they germinate. You get an AC adapter. And it does come with a pump in here. Um, you just snap this on. This is the top part of the pump. There's a sponge filter. Of, of every so often, you're going to actually remove um, the sponge filter, and it popped off, and you're going to wash it because it's going to fill up with grime, and that's uh, quite to be expected. All right, I'm just going to put that back in. All right, so I just it took two seconds. You just snap the pump right in. Um, you make sure the cord goes in that little groove, otherwise it won't snap in. But I am going to tell you something, and you'll thank me for this later. Um, it has the AC adapter that you plug in, and uh, it's not on the back of the unit, or on the front of the unit, or on the side. It's on the bottom. So before putting your um, water in here, you must attach the plug and plug it into that on the bottom. And it has a little groove for the wire. So uh, you feed the wire and push it down into that little groove. It'll change your life and you'll thank me for it later. So th this is the extendable arm for your light, for your light panel, which is um, over here. And uh, this snaps into the bottom and you'll uh, see, you know, you snap it in. I'm not gonna do it now. And this telescopes, so you can raise it uh, higher or lower. And uh, this is actually, I measured it 18 inches tall. So including the base, plus this so your roots would go in here which is three inches and 18 inches of extendable pole as you can see and it keeps going and it keeps going uh to raise your light up uh you can grow some pretty pretty tall vegetables in here all together with the base and the 18 inch extendable rod it uh will grow 21 inch plants that is an amazing thing because the arrow garden, most of them, only extends up to about 11 and 3 quarter inches tall, including the base. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all built. Um, I don't have it extended all the way up because the plants are still pretty short. 
but uh, you have your functions. You have two modes, vegetable or flower. You can actually keep the pump on, or if you press the pump button, it'll actually shut off for 10 hours and then turn itself back on. This is automated. So for vegetables, I believe it's 12 hours, and for flowers, I believe it stays on for 14 or 16 hours. If you want to go to bed and the light is bothering you, um, there we go, you could actually press the power button off, and then it should restart itself in another 10 hours, 8 to 10 hours. When you have it on um, and you choose your mode, um, it does everything for you. It's uh, You set it and just forget it. I always keep the pump on. The pump goes on for every 30 minutes, and uh, so every 30 minutes it'll go on, and then it'll shut itself off, and then go back on again uh, for a few minutes every 30 minutes, around the clock. You need that pump on to oxygenate your water and the plant roots. Okay, so what it, what it has is 36 watt full spectrum grow lights, up to 16 hours of light, that would be with the vegetable, I mean the flower, um, eight hour sleep function. So if you press the off button, it'll shut off for eight hours and turn back on. But you will have to pick vegetable or flower. Um, it has, uh, again, the pump 30 minute on off cycle. It has the 12 grow sponges. The plant food is included, A and B, 12 grow domes. And you really need those gromes when, uh, gromes, those domes when you uh, place a seed in the pod. Um, you need to build up the heat and uh, the moisture level. As soon as something sprouts, you just take the little plastic dome off. And here's uh, domes I have with other units. There you go. You place the pod in the basket. Now this tank is actually, I'm trying to think, the tank is, how big? Three liters. It holds three liters of water. But um, I think you can uh, fill, you know, you can underfill it. So you don't have to fill three liters of water. Um, actually, it has this little thing right here. And I forgot to show you the dome for that, but it's in my uh, kit that I got that we just did. Okay, so I have it at max right now, which is three liters. So for three liters of water, the plant food would tell you exactly how much to drop in there. Um, again, we have the two smart modes. Um, and this A-List Pro is wonderful. I mean, like I said, it's under 60 bucks. It's a no-brainer. Again, here is the Aero Garden. The arrow garden barely extends up uh, very high at all. Let's uh, extend it all the way up so I could show you how puny this system is. Here we go. And this is as high as it gets. Let me just hold on. I'm putting you down for a second. I'm putting you guys down. There we go. All right. So this is as high as it gets. Not very high at all. This one is not even fully extended and gets as tall as 18 inches including the three inch base, which makes it 21 inches tall compared to 11 and three quarters for the Aero Garden. All right. Now, every so often, you're going to have to dump this water about every like several weeks. You're going to have to completely dump the water, put new nutrients in it. I suggest you get a siphon. For under uh, 13 bucks, you can get one of those little siphon pumps and a bucket. You could stick it in the fill hole, which is back there. And uh, you squeeze the little bulb on it and uh, actually evacuate the water from the unit right, uh, very simply into a bucket, dump it outside, and then just fill your water back up with the plant food because you can't leave this water in for more than a month. Um, and you always have to add more plant, uh, plant food to your water. Um, check your levels constantly to make sure it doesn't go, uh, go below a certain level. Otherwise, your pump will burn out and your plants will not get enough food or water. So I highly recommend the A-List Pro. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful unit. In two weeks, this is what you can have in your kitchen or in your dining room or even in your own bedroom. It's uh, quite cool. Now, they have little holes, you can see here, and I placed uh, shish kebab sticks or kebab sticks in there that I um, get that are 12 inches long. You can break them off the size, and you can create your own little trellis. You can add um, twist ties to it and uh, actually make like a little growing ladder uh, trellis for things like miniature and dwarf cherry tomatoes and uh, stuff like that. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, description below to buy this unit. I highly recommend it. As you can see, it works and it works very well. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon.